A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Beto! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Saying this is the coldest winter on record. Paper says it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Peter? Three years? Well, it was three. Only to Jelly's party, right? Come on, you know, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance flew. Right before you shipped out. Do you remember? Oh, in five minutes, we're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can you change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Shit, yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? I uh, saw it. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah. And I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you All right, thanks. Keep the change. Be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner, zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice Signore, pronunciare la parola volontà. Siamo ci vengono, provino a fare per cinque anni. Benedice Signore, Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. 
You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him. Work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care you if you gotta sell hey, everything I promise. you got. What the hell's going on here? Leo. You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. That all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother, bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise... The debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out.
Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbara lives? <laughs> hey, this is a bad time. <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. me to that guy, Giuseppe. Ah, I met, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know, find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you... Hey, uh, think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank, I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive a while. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be... All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Right here, then just go straight for a while. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lock picks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker in Empire Retire, Bay. please. How are you? Uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them?
Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it. Giuseppe said Benedì. Easy, huh? Don't no worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like staying in that car? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Afternoon. How can I help you? The license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. You should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey. Who's that guy there? What guy? The guy at the bunch. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Ice the Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the frauds going nuts. I think I think the 
jealousy? You kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a girl in your pocket? Because I can see myself. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. What, what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. Don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filled out. You shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find the car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. All right, Vito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. 
This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, man. Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Just knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas. Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke here, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shoot. We got work to do. That cream colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Hey, what the fuck 
Go. Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of movies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. That is their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, nice. No stains. Clean. The low life get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, 
I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm in... Some mitt spilled a beer on his wind pick. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. Well, so... Sounds like kind of a scum. Hey, you just got an out of here. Is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing on the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? There's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. <laughs> 